How's it going guys? Just gonna give you guys a little bit of an update on my uh, Sea of Green Grow. Growing under one Mars Hydro FCE 3000. This light is amazing guys. Can't complain. I got it at 100% capacity plants are just loving them we are currently in day five of flower and these plants are just looking amazing now I vegged them for only two weeks I didn't want to veg them more than that I'm pretty sure they're going to fill up the canopy nice they're stretching pretty good right now. They're probably about 8, 10 inches tall right now. Nice green color. Looking amazing. I'm hoping to pull over an ounce per plant. That would be amazing. If I could get over a pound in this 3x3, three three, let me know down below what you guys think I'll yield off of this tent here, off of these clones. Now moving on to the other 3x3 three three with the scrog net. Same thing with this one here, day 5 of flower. This one's just, it's stretching like, it's stretching like a motherfucker, guys. Just looking amazing. Nice color. Can't complain whatsoever with this. It's filling up real nice. Now, there are a lot of leaves. Um, but... I will not defoliate until day 21. Day 21 is uh, normally when I go and defoliate all my plants. I don't like to stunt them too much while they're doing their stretch. Let's have a look down below. Canopy is nice and clean. It's getting a little bit thick in there, but once uh, day 21 comes, like. This one here, this one won't. Let me focus here. This one here won't uh, won't do too much. So this I'll most likely cut out, right? A couple more in there, here and there, right? You take those off, and all the energy goes more towards the big nugs. Which look at the stacking on these. The nodes are so close together. I think this is gonna be a fantastic deal. I would like to yield over a pound in this three by three also. Man can only hope. Let's see what I can do. Let me know down below. And then over here we have, God, I hate this burp this blurple light I gotta get a new one gotta get another Mars Hydro so this here is going to be a little project um, I do like making my own strains I love doing crossbreeds so these are mango meringues um, that I grabbed off the two mother plants now they're all from the same uh, mother plant because if you breed one mother plant with another one, uh, you're just restarting at zero, so. Well, they're doing pretty well. Gonna leave them in there for probably another couple more days. I do add a little bit of water. I do have it on the heat pad as well. And then these here are, I'm gonna be grabbing one of these and I'm going to be flipping it into a male uh, with uh, colloidal silver to make feminized pollen and then I will be pollinating uh, the other three of these clones to make more feminized seeds of the mango meringues 
as well as cross-pollinating with the green scar that is a genetic that I have made and then a granddaddy kush now this is a strain that was around years ago can't really find the seeds no more but I did end up by finding pre-98 bubble kush and I grabbed a granddaddy purple and I crossed them and made uh, the original cross of the granddaddy kush and I will be doing a cross between these two and the mango and uh, see what they turn out to be but that's going to be on another video guys so just going to put this dome back on Now guys, if you guys want to have more success with your clones, I, I would highly recommend that you get a heat pad. Um, you get a heat pad. I got the trays here with the lids on. I normally leave the lids closed for the first four, maybe five days. A little bit of water on the bottom and just with the little bit of heat that the heat pad creates, it creates a lot of moisture in here. And even for your seedlings, uh, it works amazing because when they're young they really like the moisture um, after four or five days I start to crack these open a bit and uh, I'll start to crack these open tomorrow uh, just because they are rooting pretty good right now so but that will be in another video for this one here just wanted to give you guys an update on these here I will be doing a top dressing next week um, End of week two is when I have to top dress my soil. But they do need a feeding today though. So that being said guys, I'll let you guys go for now. You guys have a good day. Peace out. We'll chat with you later.